Welcome to Susan So Creative, where it's only wrong where it doesn't work. I'm Susan Anderson, and today's video is we're going to be covering custom and ruler work on sampler quilts. I've already preloaded my backing, my batting, and I'm floating my quilt top on my long arm. I've also done my basting across the top and down both sides. And I've pre-auditioned my stitch designs. Now I've included a link to the video on how to do the audition at, in the description below. You might want to click on that and download the information there as well. So I've got my quilt top set up and I'm ready to go. In order to start my first custom piece, I'm going to trace off the outline. Now I have my easy ruler foot and my ruler table already on my machine because I'm going to be flipping back and forth from my free motion ruler work to my pro stitcher custom work. So we're going to start with the custom work and do my first block. Now in order to do this, all you're going to do is start with your pro stitcher and we're going to trace the outline. So you're going to go to your area tab. You're going to touch the multi uh, point and keep repeating that as you move your machine to each corner. Now I'm using the outside of my foot as my baser, if you would, from my stitching line. You don't have to, it's entirely up to you. And the little uh, pink light that you see is my Easy Point uh, laser uh, that is available for your machine as well. I've also included the part number for that. Once we've got that outlined, I'm now going to go and I have preloaded a whole bunch of feather designs that are from Pro Stitcher into a separate folder and moved them to a second flash drive. I put that flash drive into the back of my machine and I'm able to access it simply by going to File, Design, and selecting that drive. So I have all these wonderful designs to choose from. Now, if I'm having issues with trying to see or find the particular one, I can close out or find the particular one. I can close out a certain uh, file type and notice that those will disappear. And I can turn them back on whenever I want. It makes it easier for finding designs. So there's the design I want. And I need that design to... I'm going to rotate the design first so I get it in the right direction that I want it to be. So touch modify and rotate. Rotate it around till I get it to the proper position that I like. And I like it to go a little bit differently. Flip it back and forth. Rotate it, whichever I want to do, get it back in the right direction. Now I'm going to go to skew. And I'm going to touch border skew. Because I've done a multi-point design, it's not perfectly square. I find that the border skew fits it better to the corners. Now going back to my audition that I have printed out, I noticed that I've used this block more than one time. So I do have the capability in Pro Stitcher to save that block so that I can use that exact same design and roughly the same design size the next time I go to the so I have noticed that I can save this design simply by going back to my screen, making sure I have the design in the new layout, and I'm just going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Area, and I'm going to save the entire design. I want, you can write over as many as you want to, uh, simply because I can do that again, so I can pull it back up and I have it saved for later. That way, if I have to advance my quilt, will still have the design that I need in this almost appropriate size. And here it is stitched out in my square. I really like the way that turned out. Do the triangle. I've chosen my design in, in advance. I've already traced off my design. And when I go to do my skew, I have three options. I have block skew, I have border skew, and I have triangle skew. This is a new feature in our Pro Stitcher. Uh, came up last year. Uh, really is nice because it's going to fit that right to where I want it to be. And the only time you'll be able to use that is when you have a triangle design on your screen. But it fits it perfectly in there. Before trying to work with borders or block skew, it would not align properly. 
So I really like this new feature that they've given, them, given to us. Now we're ready to go ahead and do our ruler work. Now ruler work, we're going to disengage the pro stitcher and go to free motion stitching. So to do that, I'm going to go up to, to my pro stitcher tab and select gears. Simply by turning them purple, I will have turned them off. When I'm ready to go back to use my pro stitcher software again, I'll go back to pro stitcher, put gears again and turn them orange. I'm using my clear view ruler. This is, has my quarter inch marks and I'm aligning it to the edge of my block. After disengaging my gears, I'm gonna turn my machine on. I'm just gonna run that right along the side of my ruler, move it around to my next side of my diamond and holding it in place. Because again, this is pushing it right against the table and I'm going to line that right along the seam allowance and just follow the ruler right along the side of the foot. And I've given you the part number in the handout as well. Is one that you'll probably use a lot, even if it's just going from one position to another. But you can also, with the additional lines, you have a 45 and 60 degree angle in there as well as your quarter inch mark. It's a three inch by 12 inch ruler, perfect for the machine. And it'll work with your domestic machine as well. That's going to give me the outline on my triangles. And I went and did that with all my triangles. Now I'm working the quilting. This is the way I would do an edge to edge. Starting top left, moving it from one side, going to do my ruler work in between, going to the next position. And you can see here where I've included on some of the additional blocks that you can see where I've done the grid work on my triangles and just the outline on my diamonds. I hope you picked up some tips and tricks on how to do ruler work and custom work on your sampler quilts. Don't forget to download the tips and tricks from the link below in the information box. Thank you for joining me today. And remember, it's only wrong when it doesn't work.